Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Emily and Gang? It's your girl, Naya. And your boy, Nick. And today we are back with another video. Video, you guys. Yes, a seafood mukbang. But before we get into the video, y'all should already been unsubscribed to the channel. But if not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the video. What you been saying? Oh, oh, go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Cause I'm ready to dig in. Like the video and leave us a comment, you guys. Don't forget to turn the bell on so that way you're notified on all new videos. But anyway, as I always see, we got we doing the seafood mukbang. We got. Crab legs, corn, um, sausage, and shrimp, and rice over here on the side. Right. And we, we got, got snow crab shrimp. and king crab. So the topic of the day is the update on what's been going on with McKenzie. Everybody may see, I know a lot of people have seen the other video. This is going to be my last time speaking on, speaking on this situation. How it all started. How it all started. And all the, just all the way back. I ain't seen her the screenshot, but I remember, like I, I remember the dates, but I don't, I ain't not gonna remember everything that was said. It all started when you would probably say since she been born. It been yeah, it been going on since she been born. Yeah, but it's just it just get on. worse. I would think of, things just get better as she get older. It seemed like things just get worse and worse. It all started Christmas. Well, it been started. It really just got bad this Christmas, like this past Christmas. Yeah. I've never been able Presents. to consistently just be in her life. Not that it's my fault. I used to beat myself up over it, thinking it was my fault. But it really not. There's only so much a person can do. Yeah. I'm just going to take them back to we were going to the beach. It was uh, my sister was graduating, mm -hmm. getting ready to graduate college, and we were going to the beach. And uh, yeah, she, Mackenzie was going too. She didn't go. She didn't end up going though. So she was supposed to be going too. I say I was supposed to get her like uh, earlier that day. Earlier that no, it was like the day before we left. Cause I mind you, we were leaving. We were night. leaving at like five in the morning. What car we went to? We went to Temple. Yeah, we went to Temple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mind you, we were leaving at like um, five in the morning, like five welcome. or six in the morning. And she stay in another another city, you feel me? So she don't stay nowhere near me. She probably stayed like an hour away from me. Hour top. I was just like, um, I'm going to come and get her early so she can go on and be down here and... I won't have to be doing all that driving, driving like that early in the morning. I actually was headed up though to get her, remember? And then she um never went answer for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was yeah, you was headed up there. She went up there to get her. I think I hadn't even made it all the way there. You had she had made it all the way to her house to get her everything. And I was calling her mama just like, hey, now I, I I had friends at my house. I had a couple, um, I had a couple of my friends over at my house, so Naya, uh, the one that went and got her. Mm -hmm. I was calling her, calling her, calling her mama several times, let her know, that, hey, Naya on her way, and when she had got there, like, Naya was there. So this went on for about, how long you say? For about, you stayed up there. About, I, it was probably about 30 minutes, because like I 30 said, 30 minutes even, to an hour. I was calling him to try to reach out to him because nobody, I could never get an answer out of nobody. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to keep seeing her. I was like, Nick, call or whatever. He still wouldn't get an answer. So I finally decided to leave. By the time I got back halfway back to Aubrey, that's when I finally got a text message saying, hey, she gone or something like that. She gone somewhere yeah. with, her, with her mama, me, Mackenzie's grandma. Yeah. So she would have, she had not, I mind you, she know now you're on her way to get her so why would you let her go elsewhere elsewhere when you know this girl is on her way to pick her up so you got halfway what you got back to day or what how was it Auburn? no probably it was almost at Aubrey. yeah she had almost got back to Auburn when she decided to call and say she gone she gone and then 
So at that point, we had already like determined, okay, she ain't gonna be able to go to the beach with us because I'm not going back. And then, like I like he said, he had friends mm -hmm. over and stuff like yeah. they were chilling and vibing and stuff. So later on that night, that's when she sent me a video. I said about eight or nine o'clock. Later on that night, mind you, this right here probably three or four, five in the evening. Well, hours and hours later. It was hours and hours <laughs> later. Then she come texting, sending her a video saying, or McKenzie saying, I want Naya to come and get me. All right. Y'all, it be crazy, childish stuff that go on like that. It be excuses. And excuses, excuses, and excuses, 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 excuses. Like, like when you go pick up, you have to wait hours and hours at a time. Hours. To even get. Hours and hours at a time just to get her. You know what I'm saying? Like. Now, before everything just started getting crazy, now, it wasn't even like that. I used to always go get them when you say work or whatever. And it just, you know, pick up. Going by my business, but now lately since it just been getting rough, you gotta wait literally like an hour to even just to get in trouble with somebody see them. But okay, she come call him, so now you did end up going. She, had, she made it. I mind you, we probably stay an hour away, so she went up there and didn't get no after nothing. So she made it all the way back home. Then this happened, so. Now I decided, okay, I don't want her to miss this beat trip because, like, all my nieces and nephews were going. So she decided to go back and get them. Okay, she made that beat trip. Okay, after that beat trip, I probably didn't see her for what reason. But anyway, moving on to a next, a next, a next subject. I'm just going to let y'all, just give y'all a little, not everything, but just little, little stuff that go on. On what been leading up, how things been going over the years that y'all don't know. And so I'm, I'm just gonna pause you. Y'all probably wondering like, hey, why won't they try reaching out to her? Or hey, you feel me? Like this the reason why we are making the video. So hopefully it get back to some type of point because he still been trying to reach out. I still out been her. even after if y'all seen the other video. That, for other day. Yeah, for that video, I still been trying to reach out. And we gonna get, we gonna build all the way up until today. that moment. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. To today. So, Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and you know what I'm saying? Just watch it to the end. Okay, let's get back in it, though. So, June the 17th, it's 2020. I'm just skipping around. I remember I was out work. That's when I was working. So, I was out work for like a whole week. Mind you, I'm not doing nothing. Mind you, it's June, so they out of school. They out of school anyway, back because you remember COVID. They were like, mm -hmm. yeah. Remember, cause in between from May to June, you kept reaching out trying to get them, but they was like, no, oh, yeah, because of the COVID, going on. right? But we understood that yes, part. Yeah, that I was out work a whole week. That's that's what that's that excuse. That's what that excuse was. Show sure was. I was trying to, I remember. Yeah. So I was out work like a whole week, right here doing nothing. She pregnant with bad butt right here, and I was just like, hey, I, I want to get kids like this week up. This week on my work, I think I want to get Kenzie to let her come stay the, stay the week with me. Mind you, they try to be a, a good father, you know what I'm saying? Spend some time with my daughter while I'm not doing nothing. I'm just laying around the house. So I reach out to her. And see, this is why I wish I had the messages, but we uh, we recording from my phone right now. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to see the message. I could tell y'all everything word for word. But I think I might have texted her and I was trying to um I was trying to get her and she hit me back with uh first she hit me back with you can come get her but you don't need to let her leave your house. She can't leave out your house. First of all, I'm a grown man. And second of all, I know COVID going on, so I'm not gonna put her at risk or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. Third of all, I'm pregnant, so we super careful. Yo, we we super careful. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that, yeah, I'm not pretty now, but that was at the time I was pretty. Yeah. So, I was just like, okay, cool. We probably ain't going nowhere no far than my mama house, and we do go anywhere. With that probably far we were going anyway to let my mama see her, spend some time with her, and we coming home. So, I was just like, I'm finna get, that was earlier. So, I when I, on my, when I was finna get ready to go get her, I had held mama up. I was just like, hey. I'm finna be on my way to get Kenzie. 
she respond, what she say? Either she don't want to come. No, or, it was you stay. She stay too long. Yeah, she she responded with, um, I wish I could. I had to. I might even make them pop up on the screen just to show y'all. She responded with, McKinnon said, you you keep her too long. She don't want to come. Mind you, what? So at that at that time, Kenzie four years old. You intend to tell me a four for what a four year old said that, and you intend to tell me you let a four year old tell you what to do? It's crazy because every time she come down, we have a good time. Like we run up and down the hallway, we play with coloring books, we read, we go to the playground. Like she always seemed as if she had a time in her life every time she come down. So. I just want to understand the point where it said she she don't want to come and she stay too long. Okay, rocked on, rocked on. I mind you, like I said, I can't remember everything right off the top because I'm not looking at the message. But I want to say I was just like, man, I'm coming to get her. Ain't nobody think uh, cause she said then she probably resp I think she responded with Ken said she don't want to come. I like man. Tell her I'm gonna get her butt. I ain't think about what she talking about. And then that when she hit me back with um she hit me back with that. She said she ain't coming because you be mean to her and you oh, don't yeah, play you, yeah. you don't play with her. Yeah, you play your game too much. You play your game too much. It was something like that. Like yeah. I said, I can't remember word from word because I ain't got the memory right here in front of me. But yeah, it was it was basically it was something up in that. Like y'all. Like yes, I said, when she's down here, she get all of our attention. Like she get all our attention. All of our attention. We we put it to the side. Cause like I said, we never really get to consistently spend time with her or see her. So when we do see her, we making sure we devote all of our time to her. So you know, cause we don't get to see her all the time. So it's it like y'all. At the time, that was my only child. Cause he wasn't born yet. How would I mistreat my child? Like. Like, look at what you said, bro. I'm not, I don't, there's people out here that probably do mistreat their kids or, you know, do stuff to their kids. I'm not one of them. What? I don't have a ring to. Why would I not play with my child, my only child? Not even if it was your only. Why not play with your kids? Kids, period. period. Like, come on. I mind you, I still didn't see them. And y'all may think I'm lying when I'm telling y'all these months of how I go by shit. That's why I said at the beginning of the video. And not only seeing y'all talking to me. Talking to her. Like, I could be, I could be, I mind you, I, I'm reaching out during this time. Like, I know, like I said, I don't have to make, I can't, I can't show y'all because my we recording from my phone right now. Talk to June. nobody. Since June. Y'all really have time. And I, I haven't seen her, so I really ain't did nothing but not talk to her. School finna start back. She write me out the blue. Mind you, last time I heard from them was September. Well, June. Yeah, June. She write me out the blue. I don't know what now. This is what she wrote me. Do you have? No. Let me make. I want to get it right. Like I said, I'm not looking at my phone. Can you send me some money so I can get Mackenzie school clothes? Mind you. Comment down below if you think I'm wrong or right with my response. My response was, yeah, I'm go I can get her some clothes, but I want to take her shopping. I want to take her shopping next week so we can spend some time together. Mind you, I haven't I haven't seen her in I don't know how long. My last time even talking to her was like June the 17th. She responded. Never mind. Don't even worry about it. Response was I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna get her school clothes. Um, regardless, because I want to I want to take her shopping. Like I want to come pick her up. I haven't seen my child want to come take her shopping. Want to take her to the mall to wherever she want to go. Whatever she point at on the shelf, I'm go buy. It. Tell me I'm already in my room. Please leave it down in the comment section. It's crazy. Like, this is crazy. Like, y'all may think I'm lying on how crazy this stuff is, bro. Like, y'all may think I'm lying, bro. Like, I'm not I'm telling y'all nothing but the truth. Like, seriously. Yeah, in the past, let me go and say it. Yeah, he did used to go out and say 
things off the wall or be kind of crazy towards or whatnot because like he was to his pushing point at so many times where he just wanted to say, you know what, I'm done. But I used to always push him and be like, be a better man, just try, just keep trying, just keep trying, just do what you keep doing. Like you ain't doing that wrong. So like I said in the last video, I don't take no sides, but by me seeing her witnessing this and I he gonna show me the messages and I'm like, what the world, you feel me? If I had somebody continuously write me wanting to get my child, see my child, do my child, I'm not gonna push them away from doing it, but I don't know y'all, it's crazy. Like, Cause all this gonna play a factor eventually. If you watch the video to the end, like you gonna understand. I know my child and I know the bond that we got. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I call Mackenzie tablet, she go, if she don't answer, she go call me back. Mm -hmm. Like she, or she go text me, or she go call me back. Like she ain't go never not. If I, she see me call her, mm -hmm. she ain't go never not call back. The time y'all like in between these months when he wasn't able to get her, he was like, um, someone talking to her from her tablet. tablet. Yeah. So that's the only way really, sometimes, I was, yeah. I was, I was complete, I'm completely blocked. blocked. Yeah. Like. But we gonna get into that. that mm -hmm. Just watch this video to the end. We gonna get into all that. November came because Kai was born. You remember she came a week? Yeah. No, the day that Kai was born. No. Then he the, came home. The day he came home. Yeah. I seen her. I so, seen her November. The day it was like the day he came home. She did let her. Yeah. She did let her come down here. She stayed like a day because you remember they called somebody had COVID. Yeah. Somebody had COVID. She, Cause. But since we had been staying over here, she still had been our house with me but one time. One time, twice. Yeah. And that's the thing, y'all. Like, I'm the type of stepmom where I don't want her coming down here and Kai got everything. Kai got a whole room with his stuff. Y'all, this she is so nothing. crazy. We even moved from a two bedroom to a three, three. just so everybody she can have, can have their, their own, own space freaking space. room. And she on the slip in this apartment Twice. two times. Mm -hmm. We stayed in the two bedroom. We was going to have to literally turn her whole room into a cat room. Yes. And I was like, she coming up looking like, that ain't what happened to my room. And I'm looking like, that's not fair. So why not both of them have a room? We was thinking about the child, which that should be the main thing. We thinking about the child. Like, we not thinking about... Oh, she been doing us like this for years. It's gonna continue. We thinking like, okay, it possibly can get better, but. Come on to December twenty second. This is when all hell is finna break loose. Strap your seatbelt. Subscribe to the channel. Get this video a big thumbs up, and drop down in the comment on how you feel, what you think, or anything. But now let's get back into it. December twenty second. All hell is about to break loose. Okay, so. I mind you, it's Christmas time. I'm supposed to, uh, I was supposed to keep her all the way up until like Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and then take her back home. Job at that time, like I was working, I had started back working. I had went back to work on a. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? You know, when he first take that first bite, he made that little face. You don't like it? You don't like it? You don't like the potato? You want it. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mind you, but you you come taking over that video. Mm -hmm. I was talking to her in between time, and then like I was supposed to get her from like either the twenty second, no, it might have been like the twenty, the twenty or the twenty first, cause the twenty second is when everything actually went down. So she stayed, she was down here a couple of days before everything actually hit the fan. Oh, I come in, I see, I mean, Ken's up, she up, you know, she wake up early, she up and active. I'm like, hey, how you? Good morning. Like, what you doing? She nothing. I'm on my tablet. Okay, okay. You want breakfast? She like, nah, I ain't hungry. I'm like, you sure? You don't want no cereal, nothing. She like, nah. Okay. I'm like, I'm okay. Asked about three or four times. Mind you, I'm thinking now you sleep, but yeah, she me, say she heard me the yeah, whole me time. Kai, like, I, Kai had just turned the money on y'all, so he a newborn baby. All he do is sleep and be up at night. So. I was I was so kind of sleep, but you know when you can hear somebody walk in, chase get the barking, so he don't buy both me up, so I can hear every time Malik kept asking, "Do you want something to eat?" She just kept saying, "No, no." Yeah. So that's when when she mm -mm. Nah, he got got. <laughs> right. Can't fit the table, boy. So by when I had got up, cause like I said, you finna go take your shower with the bed. Yeah, I went take my. I did. I went and got in the shower and went to bed. And I went to bed. And I was getting up. You was getting up. And I asked her, did she want something? And she was like, yeah. And I said, but your dad just asked you, did you want something? You kept saying no. And I'm like, why you, why you want to tell him? Mind you, you, want mind you. Stop it. I feel like, 
I'm being talked against against my own child sometimes. I just get that vibe. I mean, ain't nothing I really do about it, but <laughs> child will always take the mama, like to believe whatever mama say. But I feel like sometimes I'm just being talked against. I'm just made this bad person. That is making her feel some type of way to ask yeah. you for something. Oh, yeah, I'm just being made. Like, Although she bad knows person. she can get any and everything from her daddy, it's but just I don't let that right now bother me. But okay, boom. So I go to sleep. It's probably like eight o'clock, eight thirty. I wake up maybe twelve. I don't sleep. I, when, I, when I was working, I only probably used to get like two, like three or four hours of sleep. So I wake you up. Go work. Yeah, working on YouTube. Yeah. So I used. I probably get up like twelve. Two or third or one. Okay, boom. So I, I get up. No, it was before that. It probably like little in the morning. All oh, this went down in the yeah, morning time. Yeah, it went pretty early. Cause you had. I that's what that call somebody that's... called you. Yeah, I had I had a missed call from somebody that woke you what up. What am I? That boy blowing me up from prison. That's exactly what it was. Oh, <laughs> that was exactly what that that what woke me up. Yeah, free him, free sweet. Mm -hmm. So I woke up, I, 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 I was talking to him for a little bit, then boom, I just, when I got off the phone with him, I went to check my messages. I checked my messages, I seen, I seen like, a, like, like, what is this? The message, I can't, mind you, I don't have my phone, we're calling from my phone right now. Bring my, Bring my child home, if you ain't got, if y'all ain't got time for her, then you need to stop asking for her, and she, what? Oh, uh, somebody. Kids were miserable. Yeah, she, she yeah, she is miserable. She is so miserable down now. She is hot, and she don't. She ready to come home. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm really caught off guard by the message, game. Like, like what is this? Y'all keep in mind, this is December. It is cold outside. We have a whole one month old. Who is finna turn out? Um, I don't know who in their right mind gonna do that, but okay. And them kids are really hot. She gonna come in there she and say something. She gonna come in there and say something. I know my child. She gonna say something. She, she don't say it to me. She, she gonna, gonna tell me. Right. Yeah, she gonna. But did nobody bother me? Did nobody wake me up and say nothing? Did nobody tell you that when they came home? Like how we said, if you don't consistently be around a person, you're not used to them. So if somebody, if your mama, daddy, sister, brother, aunt, who, uncle, grandmama, if they keep calling you, it's gonna make you wanna go back right. to them because that's who you're used to There's being no around. Little brothers and stuff calling and crying saying they miss her. Like, one thing led to another. Right now, I'm not going to sit here and lie. I went off. I went the off. Oh. Like, it was just taking and blow it out of proportion because they want to find something to argue about. But so I feel like that's what it was. I went off on her mama, and I got on Kenzie butt. Malia had set her down that when all that happened. Oh, yeah. And was asking her, hey, are you scared of me? Like, what is wrong? Like, what's the problem? And she would tell you something. I can't re remember exactly what she said. I can't, so. I can't remember either. I don't think I know you get my, my mama, my mama. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. I'm already knowing what's going on. Me and her, her mama going back and forth. Mind you, another another thing. When it comes time to get McKenzie, like I said, she stay an hour away. They have cars. Never eat. They I, they, they never bring her to me. Or they have one. I'm not gonna say never. They they have ones. I always have to go all the way up there. But it's just this one time when all this go down, her grandmama decide to come all the way down here to my house just to get her. Like, I find that so crazy. Which is not no problem of going all the way up there. Because, like, I used to always be excited for the come, be ready for the come. So, I didn't mind going all the way up there. It's just a simple fact. It's funny how this one incident happened and somebody immediately fly down here. But all the other times, ain't nobody ever yeah. offered, hey, can we meet you halfway or none of these. Yeah. So, I was like, from this day going forward, if, some, if you want her to come down here, like, we're going to have to meet half half because I see how it really is. I say a couple of days. No, I call, we call her, it was Christmas Day. Yeah. And the wish of Merry Christmas. Wish of Merry Christmas. See, just what all, you know, Santa Claus bought her. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk to my child. I call, I call kids and tap it. Boom, no answer. I try calling her mama. Straight to voicemail. So I'm blocked on her. I know my, for a fact her mama blocked me. Because her was going straight to voicemail. And my messages wasn't even going through. So I know she that blocked was, was, I even remember Ryan and calling her New Year's. Because I wanted to wish her a happy New Year. A Valentine's, I wrote and called her. Um, her, her for um, Valentine's, like, we got, got her, uh, all this stuff. Yeah, I even got bought her something Valentine's Day. I don't play it on giving her. Who was that about her? Uh, uh, bags and chocolates or something. From December twenty uh twenty second all the way to May the twentieth, her fifth birthday that just passed. 
No response. No response. I no, heard no from talking on the phone. No FaceTiming. No text message. No I nothing. I don't even know if my child is living, man. Nothing, y'all. Like, like really? I don't know. Like, we come to a conclusion. It's her birthday. My mama got some stuff to give her, and we got some stuff to give her. Mm-hmm. My mama even had bought her that one of them. Yeah, that's another thing, y'all. That's a that, that, this is a little off topic, but. I salute her mama and rest in peace to her granny because she used to oh, buy yeah, stuff granny too. Used to, my grand celery, y'all, used to always. Your aunt, them bought the summer folks. They used to always go head to head, put yeah. money in to get Bro. kids. So, and they used to always ask about her like she was my these child, y'all. These people, I mean, these, this child, McKenzie, is not him. They don't have no relation with it with uh McKenzie yeah. at all the way they have with him. But they, they stay grandchild. They stay and buying for like it's they stay thing. buying for like this is so crazy. What somebody like this is so crazy. That's why it goes back to buying. when you have step parents, your baby get double. That's why you know that what I'm saying? Like they buy for your child that don't have the fruit, don't have a piece of blood in their veins of hood, man. And they buying for her. They they buying they buying for my child. <laughs> now I'm just gonna let that sink in with y'all. <laughs> they good people. That's what you come from good people, man. We made it twenty. My mama and her. I mean, they been on me like a mug. Like they getting on my nerve about to drive me carry. I keep telling them, what the hell y'all want me to do? Go kidnap them, go to jail. My mama said we going up there. I'm gonna see my grandbaby. I like okay. I'm going with you. So she, we decide to go up there. Boom. So we get to the. Mind you, school is out. Her granny do. Mackenzie grandma do keep all of them. So we uh we up there. We call we call Mackenzie mom. This was around. I want to say we made it up there probably around three. It was around three. It was around three something. Yeah. We call Mackenzie mom. We call we call Mackenzie mom. Got no response. No response. Then boom. Now you would just she shot her a text. Yeah, I'm like, well, just let me text the see. Yes, mind you, I know you see this phone ringing. This how yeah, I, want like, I, want, I want y'all to hear every I word I'm saying. Like, hey, such and such, um, I'm here at such and such house. I'm just trying to give. We trying to give kids and her guild. Um, I was like, could you please call me ASAP? So y'all immediately as soon as I sent the message, like two minutes later. It wasn't even no two. It was thirty seconds. I swear. I, I, like I the, phone you, ring the phone ring, the phone ring, boom! She would, it was her. It was her. Uh, she would. My mama going to get them. Okay, she should be there in about ten to fifteen minutes. Boom. Yeah. Okay, so we get off the phone. Okay. Ten minutes pass. Ten minutes pass. Twenty minutes pass. Twenty minutes pass. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes pass. Thirty minute minute. forty minutes. Forty five. Forty five. Forty five. Damn, it's about an hour and a half, two wow. hours. We been, you know for a fact that we out here waiting on you to come. Well, she didn't know, but well, this is it. It got know. so bad. I had my two nieces. I had my two nieces with me. My nieces, I'm link. We gotta go to the bathroom twice. Boom. They twice. went to the bathroom. This so bad. My nieces went to the bathroom twice. twice. What? Then the minutes that we sit right no, there waiting. Yes. And I'm not gonna lie. We went to the to the little Dollar General up the street twice. The second time we went there, I, my mom, I, everybody was just like, shoot, well, we just finna we go. We go, yeah, like, but we were just finna give up and just like forget it. It just so happened that when we was backing out to, to leave out of Dollar Junior, we seen her granny go by. And that's when we hopped behind the granny and we went on down there. Right there, she got all the rest of her grandchildren. We pulled up, her granny, my kids and grandma, her mother's mom, she never spoke to nobody. She was so rude. I don't care, and I'm putting it out there. I don't. I really don't care. She was rude. She didn't speak to nobody. We could have literally took Mackenzie off. Just took her. She wouldn't have never known. She got out. Got out her car and walked right in the house and told the rest of the grandchildren, "Y'all get in this house and shut the door." And my little Mackenzie sitting out there with her didn't speak, saying, "Hey, how you doing?" Nothing. This type of people have to deal with. It was a tiny them, little and, peanut. Yeah, her eyes still were closed like all the time. Yeah. It was the first time you ever seen them, like her eyes like, like enjoying and you know like, know what I'm saying? man, like I said, six whole months without talking, seeing, texting, any of that. Literally. So, but he was so happy, like, the, of course he don't know who she is, and Kai happened to everybody, but it just made my day he how try, he was just so he happy. He tried to slob out yeah. all her jaws and bite her and, and, and everything else. It just, it just hurt my feelings the fact that she's not really around to see yeah, him grow up and stuff. I know I want both of my kids right here with me. I want to grow together. You know what I'm 
You know, she her birthday that made my day probably one of the best days of my life. But okay, boom. I say a week went uh a week went by. I reached out to her, I reached out to her mom. Can we sit down and, and have an adult conversation like I miss my child, like I wanna see I want I wanna be in my child's life, like she missing her little brother grow up, you know what I'm saying? I like I want them to grow up together. Her response was I work all the time. Literally, it wasn't no oh uh, maybe, yes, it her response was I work all the time. My response was, well, when is your day off? Her response was, I don't got now. I was like, well, do you have a lunch break? Yeah, 30 minutes. I was like, well, hey, I can pull up on you one day and um, I can pull up on you one day and take you out to lunch or something on your lunch break. Like, not, 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 not. I even told her, like, yeah. I it wasn't no, no. He, he came to me I before he even wrote him was like, how did this sound? Not because like that's being a grown man. Like, like, like you know, trying to yeah, fix it. So if you just look at this blah that nigga, then I you, you some wrong. With you. Yeah, you need to grow like, up. Like it wasn't even no no stuff. They were like, hey, I'm finna take her out. Like me, and her finna have have some lunch. You know what I'm saying? Face to face conversation. conversation. That, that ain't never really happened, happened in the five years of her life. So I mean, but that didn't work. Like it's like she, she don't want that. You know what I'm saying? And the situation came up with Father's Day. Mm -hmm. That's the most recent thing. That's mm -hmm. that's the video. That, that that we dropped my worst fall today so go ahead subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment and that video should pop up somewhere right there like mm -hmm. that fall day video go check that video out i gave out real life facts and everything so yeah go check that video out but anyway it came up to um father's day and i was just like hey um y'all can get okay no it was you reached out. When? Father's Day. Oh yeah. yeah I was yeah, gonna yeah. surprise him. Yeah, like, yeah. I was gonna um yeah, I, she reached out. Yeah, after I gave him his stuff or whatever, I was like, ooh, this is I know this is my kid day. I was like, let me reach out to a mama, see yeah. if we can if, if I can at least just come get her for today, a couple hours. If not, I I was like, hey, if you don't feel like that's a good idea, can I can we at least FaceTime her? And I what I, I think that was all I said, and I got no response at all, like nothing at Man. all, period. So Malik, after I told Malik about it, I was like, I mind like you, she ain't gonna respond. Yeah, mind you, mind you, mind you, she did all that, and before my what I said on Father's Day was not directed to nobody. Like if you follow me on Snapchat, that's nothing. Go follow us on all our social media. Yeah, so right now. It's down in the description. Whenever we not on YouTube, go do that. Cause this go rely. Like you would have seen that if you follow me. I said on Father's Day, I said Happy Father's Day. My first post was Happy Father's Day. I tag all my friends, like all my partners, my day one on my Snapchat. I tag all of them in. I said Happy Father's Day. Okay, boom. The next one I said Happy Father's Day to all the mothers that have to play both roles. Mind you, I grew up like that, so I know. Happy Father's Day to all the mothers that have to play both roles, the man and the father. And I also said, and for the ones who either, what I say, for the ones who keep their child away from the father for no reason, y'all, like, y'all don't even deserve to be living or y'all don't even matter. It was something like that. Well, I can't Mind you. That it was similar to it. But then anybody that like I felt if you felt any type of way what he said then he stepped on your toes and you need to grow up period. Mind you, I wouldn't even talk about my situation. And I mind you, I had posted that after the fact that she I mean before the yeah, fact she like, even told me she he had posted out. that it's so weird, man, because you had even asked me, you said, Did you see my post on Snapchat? And I was like, nah, what you talking about? And then when he told me he posted and I was like, man, that probably why she ain't wrote me back. And I, you feel me? I didn't even know you had posted that. Like I said, if you felt any type of way about what he said on Snapchat, then you had to grow up. See, I, me, me personally, I know my mouth can be a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, a little I'm going to say what I got to say. And I don't care who like it, really. You like it or you don't. So I asked her, I'm like, you, I asked her, I'm like, you, you, you think that, that feels so I'm just speaking in general. How I woke up that morning feeling. That's just how I really woke up that morning feeling. Really. And like, this and is how only towards. It went towards nobody. It went like towards I said, speaking in general. Cause look at what I said. I said, I, I, if you go back and watch that video, I said my mom was a single parent. You feel me? Like I ain't really have no father with her. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm speaking in general on life situation. Mind you, I ain't called no name. I ain't. If I stepped on your toe, I'm 
I'm not sorry. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry because they need to be stepped on because you're wrong. But anyway, that wasn't intentionally put for her. So she getting her feelings. I guess somebody must have sent it to her, blah, 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 whatever. Y'all know how to do it. My Snapchat over to the public. Anybody can see it. She even seen it because I seen her name on other Snap. Yeah, she watched my Snap that day. But anyway, it was just like somebody sent me some words. She said, um, F Malik, F. She never called her name, but I'm assuming you talking about her because you said if somebody would they don't, dumb, you yeah, don't put a name like, like baby, it don't really make sense. Two. Like baby, and you mad because <laughs> I won't let you see Mackenzie and this, that, and the other. Like for one, you make yourself sound stupid. Why you? Because you responded to a were, message, so you put yourself under the category, category as if you keeping your child away from. The man for no reason. So yeah. when you respond, actually, you made yourself look crazy, crazy. by just even saying something bad. I would ignore it and be like, "Oh, he ain't talking about me." Like I said, I never want to I put my personal business out to the point like, "Y'all, we are YouTubers." Like that's something you have to understand. As but, YouTubers, y'all are with us. Like y'all live our life with us. So. Like, it's only right that y'all know what's going on. Because, like I said, y'all don't never see her in videos. Like, y'all probably don't put two or two together. Yeah, people ask. That, yeah, that's, yes, that's people another ask reason why like, yeah. we make these videos. Because people ask all the time, what kids is it? What kids is it? And I'm why tired of answering it individually. So, I'm just here to tell y'all why she's not yeah, here. And I'm, like, trying, and I'm tired. I'm also tired of trying not to make somebody look bad. That That's the biggest thing for me. But now, I done got to the point where it's forget it. It is what it is. You make yourself look bad because you're the way you is. But anyway, that situation right there happened with Father's Day. And then, just, and then it was just like, okay, we were done with that whole situation. That we tried to video, we done with the whole situation. Yeah. So, boom. Okay, I say about a couple weeks later, about like a week or two later. Um, I'm chilling with one of my homeboys. This the other night we chilling and stuff. I'm, you know what I'm saying? We doing what we do. I'm really laying. I'm I'm on his couch. I'm laying now. You know we playing, man. I'm about out. You know what I'm saying? Speak too much. But my phone bud. We go. Thought I was tripping. Man, I'm tripping. I, I, I looked at the message. Said my daughter, cause that's her name. I got daughter and I got like all the little heart mm -hmm. emoji behind the night. And then it's just like she started sending these things. I was like, oh, she done. look at here. Look who done hit me up. So I got the right and stuff. Mind you, I'm out. So it's like 12 o'clock. Like 12 o'clock. Yeah, it was like 12, 12, 12 30. Because I, got, I had got a message too. And yeah, I got so happy. Like I, was, I couldn't wait to tell me. Like, get who wrote me. No. Oh, about the messages. I had already told them, like, both of us got the text messages or whatnot. Yeah, so mind you, it's like 12, 1 o'clock. And I also say that, say that. So you wanna know when my kids are here at our house, my kids are in the bed, sleep knocked out. No like, later than probably about 10. 10. But no like later. I said, since she ain't stayed with us for so long, we really I don't, don't know. I, I can't say. I can't say and I don't know. Yeah. But I'm finna tell y'all some stuff that y'all will feel where I'm coming from. So boom, these messages been going on. Going on and going on. Okay, so she wrote me them that, that night to about one about one o'clock, one thirty in the morning. Okay, boom. Mind you, the next day, it happened again. And it's crazy that it's never during the day. The next day when she wrote him again, it was like at 12. It was like 11, 12 o'clock that night again. Like I said, we don't know the exact time frame, but it is in our phone. It be phone. late. Yeah, it's in our yeah. phone. What are you doing up that time of the night? She got the, uh, send. She kept sending messages, sending messages. This what, is this what really caught me, gang. She was just, she sent a message. Mind you, we said Mackenzie, when she write us, she sent us a whole bunch of everything. Yeah, it be, she can't make sentences and stuff. She don't know how to put words together like none of these. So she, she cannot can't do, do that whatsoever. So by us saying this, it's really going to So pay attention. Make you it going to make me see what I'm saying. I get a message that say, why you don't want to come get me? I'm like, I looked at the message. Yeah, he asked me. He like, hey, screenshot hey, and ask hey, me, like, am I sent this to her? Sent to her, I'm like, man, this ain't my cow. Like, man, they, 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 like, kids ain't right. Like, this. I know she ain't. Like, I know my child. She was like, I don't know. So, she, I wrote, I, I, I don't know if I responded or I didn't respond. Because, like, it just threw you for it, a loop. It threw me for a loop. And it's like, <laughs> I ain't the type, even though her mama may try to make, make me look bad, I, I want to tell her the truth. But it's like, she ain't number five years old, like so. I'm not gonna get her. I'm not gonna 
not finna get her involved just to being a adult. Vibes, you know so, what I'm saying? Yeah. And into our business. You know what I'm saying? So after I didn't respond to that, she started back. Whoever she started back writing. Whoever I'm not gonna say she. Whoever started back writing, scribble scrabble and the little the little uh thing how I tell you we be texting. She start whoever it was started back writing like McKenzie. So that's when I started back responding. Call. That's what I did. I called that tablet after that. Oh yeah, me too. I had called after mine too. I called the tablet after that. I got no response. I probably called. I called that tablet like three to four times. Yeah, and I did it right back. as soon as I got as the soon message. as I got the message, mm -hmm. and I never got. I never got a, a response. Call, like nothing. So boom, the next day came. And like I said, y'all, as us knowing her from in the past, if we call her. And she means that she's gonna call us back or she's gonna always answer that text. So that what kind of got us like, what's trigger, like, if you text and then you can answer the thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We calling like right after you miss it. So boom, the next day passed. Okay, uh, once again, 11 or 12, 1 o'clock at night, come right, my, come right my phone with the little, the look how me and McKenzie actually text, how we usually actually text. And boom, we texting back and forth. Then another, a message came that threw me for a loop once again that said, Don't be mean to my Don't mama. Don't be mean to my mama. Like I said, God forbid me if I'm wrong, but I ain't gonna see her. Me if I'm wrong too, but I got the truth. I've never like, seen her make messages. This like, book showed up through me. It was just like, um, what do you know? About me and your mama being for one day. So for one, if it is Mackenzie, that means you up there discussing our business to her trying to make me look bad. You know what I'm saying? So that threw me for a loop. And I called immediately right after. Boom. No answer. Called again. No answer. Called again. No answer. So that day went on and I never got an answer. Okay, excuse me. Next day came. I like okay. I told you I was like I'm finna call Ken. No, you was at the um, uh, you was at the hospital with your aunt, uh, your aunt. When I called her, when I called again. Oh okay, okay, yeah, you will, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. it was him. He was here cutting up. I said, you know, this boy right here, he was in here cutting up on me. I said, you probably you know what I'm finna do. I'm finna call your sister on you. I Facetime. Mind you, this during the day. Yeah, this was like at probably like one or two o'clock in the evening, not in the morning. Oh, yeah, because you said you were going to try to get her to talk to him. Yeah. No answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. Then, boom, once again, like that night. later on that night, here come these little messages. And then it's just like, after that, like she sent the first message, I called, boom, immediately. No answer. So why, if I don't think McKinney McKin would not be texting me, and when I call her, not answer. She's just not going to do that. I know her. And I called again, no answer. So... From that time, which was what, last week, that time, the last time I called, I haven't got another message from that, um, from her tablet or nothing. Have you got anything? I didn't even, I only got something one time. I never got it. Like, how you getting it every day? Yeah. I only got it one time. I never, I never got another message. You can take it. It could just be me. You can take whatever, whatever I said and just put it into your own mind frame. I'm not going to put nothing in nobody's mind frame, but... You, if you watch this, um, watch this video to this point, you get where I'm coming from, and you see the point that I'm making. Like, like I said, this is not just for, not adding up, bro. It's not. This is not to make nobody look bad. I this don't is care not for nobody that. to be trying to choose a side. This is just trying to reach out for like something to get better, like a resolution, baby. Mm -hmm. Resolution. Because at this point, like I said, with us not being able to call or text anyone, like, we still not getting anywhere, so why not just reach out? Hopefully, she said or somebody else said and reach out to her and try to, you feel me, try to speak on it to her or whatnot. I hope that's what's going on. I hope somebody was sent to say something to try to make the situation better. But, like I said, this is the only way we can reach out to somebody because nobody answers the phone or text, so. Yeah. Like, y'all, I don't even know what to do with my whole life. I'm, I'm so over this. Like, this stuff is so toxic and draining, man. It don't even make no sense. For somebody had to go through stuff like this, 
raise a child, like, it don't make no sense. Yeah, and with, with parents not being in the same home, raising a child, you would want the co-parenting to be healthy. Yep. So, to make up for y'all not being together, that's what, how I would look at it. Now, like, on the other hand, I always want me and my kids for to be together, but if we did, if some, if all else, like, God forbid it happening, and we ever separate, do whatever, I win. I just couldn't do it because of some fact of, like I said, the child is the main focus. Like that's what's supposed to be the main reason of y'all trying to get along yeah. or y'all trying to get work stuff out of whatever. But it's just like I said, it's all unhealthy for the baby because it's just it's just not right. And that's what we, you know, what I'm I saying know. she getting tired of it too. Yeah, you know I am. It's, it's too much, y'all. Like especially having to deal with this for five whole years, you still trying your best to make it right, you trying to do everything you can, you questioning yourself like what are you doing wrong to keep being, for stuff to keep going like this, so it's just too much and it just make you want to really take your hands off of it and just let put it all in good hands, like honestly. Like, I think that's what I'm going to have to do, you know, like, I ain't do it, like I hate to have, you know what I'm saying, I'm not turning my back on my child, man. Uh, if she see this, I believe she even watch our videos. Like she, yeah, do. she watch them all the time when she like, come out here. I love you, and you know I love you. And whenever you can get a chance, you know, you know, you got my number. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm always just call there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. This Dang. is the last part of this. We not speaking on it no more. No more. So, this is it. So, so no one is asking, don't add me no more. Yeah, you please see don't ask no more because I'm see. tired of hearing that question as to where she is. And we don't even have a clue. So I can't, I don't know what to tell you when I don't even know. So. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, give this video a big thumbs big up. Big thumbs up. Juicy thumbs up. And tell them we out. Say peace.